Daddy back again as you can see. Um, today's video I'm going to do a review. Now I said I was going to do this absolutely ages ago. Like when I first either skaped or re-skaped the frog tail. Um, and I just never got round to it. Other stuff kept coming up I wanted to show you. So in today's video I am finally going to be doing the review on the lights. I also have to add I've now bought a second set that is on the big 350 cooler as well. Um, I did try video, video in that one and did my review in the other room, but because it's such a big tank, I've got two sets of lights. I have the Aqua Sky at the front and a standard TS, uh, T5 sorry, at the back. So you can't see what I'm trying to show you too well. So we're gonna do it here. Hope I don't freak the frogs out too much. Um, so as I said, this is the Fluval, Aqua Sky. Um, the size here is the one that goes somewhere around the 60 centimetre mark. I can't remember what it was to and from, and I no longer have that box. Um, the new one I have that's for the corner is the 33 inch to 42 inch light switch. Right, there. <coughs> that one's 60 centimetres going up to 80, I think. Somewhere around there, anyway. So that's the remote that comes with it. So your on off button's quite an obvious one. Off, on, ta-da! And then you've got a load of presetting color wise at the top, the little moons, which are all different shades of moon. I um, hope this is coming out on the camera for you. Um, this is the settings I normally use on a daily basis. One's just it, and that's my favourite one. It's nice, it's bright, and you still get the effects of the clouds going over the sun, which is what that symbolises. And then down the bottom, now, as you can see, there's a thunderstorm looking icon. I'm not sure a fish would appreciate that. Surely that's a, a scary thing for them to go for. Um, but when I said that in the shop, before I bought my first set, the, the girl that I was that was dealing with me said some people do find that the thunderstorm functions help bring out some of the natural characteristics um, in your frog, uh, in your fish. Um, it's a personal thing. I I haven't done it. I know I demo in it, and I've only ever tried it out. I've never just left it on. So. It's not something I don't even really use. I'm saying. But I will show you what it's like. And I hope my dogs believe me. I think you get the idea that it goes dark and flashes of lightning happen. I'm going to turn that off before it starts again. See, as I said, the woman in the store said it does. Like, it has been known to help out some natural characteristics of the fish. Again, I'm not certain on that. So the other thing you do if you want to set a mood, I, this, this tank in particular is in my dining room. Not that I often have like, dinner parties. You can go onto the preset colours at the top with the six buttons I showed you. So that's the orange, and then you turn down. This wants to work. All the individual shapes. Start with one. There you go. So I've now turned it completely off without actually using the off button. Now I'm going to go, you know what? I fancy blue tonight. And then I can turn the blue right up. Admittedly, I could just press the night button for that particular bowl. What if I wanted purple? There you go. And I have a purple tank. I don't know why I need a purple tank. But I can. I can choose any colour variation. I'm not going to, because I don't really know the reason you'd want to do that either. Although some fish do look better against certain lights. I must say on this 
light itself on the Aquasky is not designed for marine or planted tanks. Uh, they are very low light, so obviously it doesn't give the, the, the plants enough to do photosynthesis and grow from. Um, on my big tank, that is slightly more of a concern. There's more plants, um, and there's quite a lot of lighting up until now. So if I find an issue with my plants happening because of this light change, then I will have to go out and get the planted 2.0 version and see how that works. So just I just love spending money on my tanks. Um, oh yeah. So you know how much is roughly you'd be looking at and um, for the larger size not for this size for the larger size it was 93 pounds by local and um, aquatic shop uh, which is made in head aquatics they are online as well um, i absolutely love them and they are my first place that i go to for anything products fish food lights filters anything is straight down to them not only are they good they're also made good to me which is always a bonus that's the lights. Um, I can't really think of much else. Oh, I can. I can, I can, I can. So on this one, obviously I've got the, the light system going over the top. It extends and gets shorter. Um, when you get them, they come with two other ways of fitting it. So it's a little clip system that goes on the top and then you can suction cup it up to the, to the hood or to the lid that you have on the aquarium. The other thing and the other way to do it and I've already set mine up tonight in the other one. Is they come with these little brackets and they sit on the end of this bit here. And then they've got the little connections that go into either the T5s or the T8s. And you just fit them in. And then it's exactly where it would have been if you was using a tube, which I think's really good. Because you're not having to find another way to fix it on, or in my case, I thought I was going to have to have a gap where the light was and had it raised up a little bit, which I didn't want to do. So yeah, it's really good that you get the choice of three ways to fit them. So that's, that's my light conversation. Um, if you do have any questions, drop them in the comments below. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. But quickly before I go, I have a little secret. So the frogs have been hinting here for a week and they're hiding somewhere they want to literally just out obviously i've played with the lights they've run away one is just in there somewhere you can see him in person not in camera there he is da, da, da. but there are still three of them in there <clears throat> oh there's another one Where's Leo? in the corner so, two nights I came in to check on them, see how they're doing, check if it's alright, and there was. There was little mating actions going down, just about here. Um, and what I found, two days later, is a little tadpole. Now, you have to believe me when I say he's in there. Because he is ever so, ever so small. If I do find him, I will point him out. That is right. Okay. There he is. See him move? Just there. Absolutely minuscule. And I'm really hoping he does survive. So I've got him floating in a little container. In the minute I siphon out a little bit of that water and put in some more of the tank water, and I've got baby food for him. <coughs> So there we go, that was my secret. If you kept to the end to find out, excellent. Um, I will be keeping an update on him. Hopefully the little tadpole does okay. First time with tadpoles, wasn't expected it to happen at all, let alone this quickly. Um, I will leave the link to my Facebook below. But again, any questions, any comments, just drop them below for us. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe, share. Thank you again, and I'll see you later. Bye.